What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are going to take a look at the daily challenges for skill, we are going to take a look at difficulty 4 and also difficulty 5. How can you one shot these new daily challenges and get 3 stars on them? Now, this was a little bit challenging for me, on the first difficulty, on difficulty 4, I had to use Nick Fury and Kestrel and on the other one I used Gamora. A few people on my Discord had a different experience using Sharon Carter. I tried to use Sharon Carter, it didn't work out for me, but as always it really depends on the red stars that you have and how much you have leveled up those characters. My Nick Fury is not particularly big, it's actually level 80 and gear tier 15, but together with the minions and the Kestrel that was a great combination. Now this position is very very important, you don't want Kestrel anywhere near Captain Sam because she, her survivability is not that great here because they, the enemies have a lot of crits and when there is a lot of crits Shang-Chi is better than uh, Kestrel. Okay, so let's get started and you'll see that I play this very very slowly and I really abuse of the minions. The minions are very important together with Kestrel they spawn with a death proof and that allow them to survive the attacks from uh, Silver Surfer as you can see. And you'll see now that instead of playing very aggressively, I'm gonna play like very, very slow to make sure that I always have cooldowns on my character. So with Captain Sam here, I use his ultimate to make sure that Mary Hill goes before anyone. So she can or summon minions or heal up depending on if you can trigger some energy from Nick Fury or not. So we were not able to trigger any energy, so we summon the minions, turn and wind that Drax, get him deleted. And you'll see now that I will try to keep Kingpin and Venom alive because I want to use them to steal their defense up so I can give it to Nick Fury again. Because Captain Sam is going to give a lot of energy to Nick Fury so if you can keep spamming the special of Nick Fury that's going to be great. And you cannot obtain, mini, you cannot obtain buffs through the minions of the ultimate of Nick Fury and the reason why it's because the field is full. So if the field is full, you cannot summon any minions and Nick Fury will not get any buffs. So the solution for that is to abuse from shield operative and make sure that shield operative is getting these buffs from the enemies onto your Nick Fury. So you can see that I no longer have defense up. So I copied the defense up from Silver Surfer to get to Nick Fury. Now he has the speed up, he has offense up. So once again, I will be able to share all of that with my allies next turn. Okay, so now we get deleted with Manti. Silver Surfer has to go as fast as possible and at this point you want to play it slowly. Apply slow to each of the characters, just make sure that no one dies too fast. And now I'm going to copy those positive effects from Kingpin, I think. Okay, I copy from Venom, that's fine. And you also want to make sure that you don't attack anyone with Taunt with shield operative, otherwise you'll copy the taunt to Nick Fury. Then you want to focus on Dazzler, you really want to remove Dazzler, she starts with her ultimate and her ultimate does tons and tons of damage and she's a raider. So that's why I was saying that Shang-Chi is better here than Kestrel because Kestrel does not have as many deflects as Shang-Chi. Okay, so here we go, I use the basic, I want to save the ultimate for next turn. And there we got a C, so it was nice. And now we have Squirrel Girl and uh, Beast. That's not a huge problem, there is no Jubilee here, so we don't have to worry about that. Now we are going to apply some slows, there is no reason for us to use the ultimate. As, as you can see, and as I said, I'm playing as slowly as possible, as safe as possible to make sure that everything goes my way. Okay, so I not, now I try to remove the Skillmonger and now I'm going to spread all those buffs. So even that I had two slots available, it's unnecessary because I already have the buffs. So let's just go for it. And like this, we can summon some of those troopers instead because those retaliation attacks, they are also pretty decent and they also have a chance of turn rewinding. Okay, so Killmonger already did his attack. So if you can survive his attack, there is nothing to worry about. And now would be a good time to use the special of uh, Kestrel, but I still went for the basic. We got the isolate attack there, some retaliation. And if we don't have defense up, that Yelena Belova, too many pockets will destroy us. So we finally use the ultimate of Shang-Chi. We have offense up, we have those buffs on Red Guardian. 
And at this point, you want to remove the taunt from Red Guardian, and you also want to remove the taunt from Shield, Shield Security, or you want to trigger the defense down to activate Kestrel to destroy this Coulson. This Coulson is very, very problematic. You really want him to die as fast as possible. You can survive his ultimate if you have defense up, but it's something that I would avoid as much as possible. So the field is full, there is only one slot available. So we are just going to attack characters with defense down and trigger as much as we can the passive from Kestrel. So as you can see, like this node, it's not easy. You have to be very, very careful because if you spawn way too many waves way too fast, you'll not be able to have the cooldowns exactly when you need it. And, uh, and that's going to be a big deal. So here we can use the ultimate or the basic. We are going for the ultimate, making sure that we are able to finish off anyone. And you can see that like this was 17 enemies. That's a big deal. Daily challenge with 17 enemies, yikes. But uh, yeah, Castle came through and uh, Shang-Chi, Nick Fury and everyone else. And we are done with this difficulty four. Now let's take a look at uh, difficulty five that uh, I found way easier than uh, this one. Okay, so here we go for difficulty five on the skill challenge. And instead of Nick Fury this time, I'm going to use Gamora. One of the reasons, it's because I don't have the Isoweight on Nick Fury. And difficulty 5 requires the characters to have Isoweight level 3, blue. And uh, Gamora is still a good option because she still activates the passive of uh, Kestrel, because she's a hero cosmic. That grants Kestrel 20% more HP, I think, which is quite uh, significant. But you will see that uh, this one is way easier. And uh, we also have Gamora, like she's decently beefy and she also has a revive. So that's going to be pretty decent. Okay, so I want to get rid of Pyro and I want to get rid of uh, Yondu as fast as possible because both of their abilities can remove the positive effects from my team. And I don't want that. I want my positive effects to last as long as possible. But this time we can play a lot more aggressively with Shang-Chi and the Shang-Chi is going to be great to destroy Star-Lord T'Challa. So that's going to be a good option. Here I think I should have applied defense down to both uh, Juggernauts. Anyway, Kestrel, she has 5000 focus, like my IQ, 5000 on her ultimate. And like Kestrel, I only know four moves as well. Basic, special and uh, ultimate plus the passive. And uh, yeah, you can see like nothing to worry about. Now you just go after the defense downs. That offense down from uh, Ebony Maw is not great, is definitely not great, but because we now have the, all the abilities with Captain Sam, we can use either of them to get to, to the place where we want. So, Mary Hill, she already attacked once, that means she will have the ultimate available now. So, she's going to remove all those offense downs and uh, it's going to make our life a lot easier. So, we are going to do that. I'm using Mary Hill as a healer. That might be significant. I think the additional 30, 28% additional healing, it's quite significant here. The deflects once again saving us and also that immunity. He went straight with a stun for Mary Hill. Maybe it's code to attack always the support character. So yeah, that was problematic. But now with Shang-Chi, we can attack Ebony Maw. He has four buffs that will increase the damage output of Shang-Chi which is great because right now it doesn't have offense up. Okay, so we slap. As you can see, we, without offense up, is not uh, the damage is not that great. And we still want to remove that Ebony Maw because he's going to apply the slow to us. He had the immunity, maybe that uh, it would have been better if I just had attacked someone else. And now I want to get rid of Iceman because I don't want any slows on my face. And his passive, it can also mess up with the minions, and I don't want to do that. But Gamora is finally empowered, she has offense up, she does a special, swipes over on everyone, everyone gets destroyed, and now it's just a poke fest with these minions, and like I said, this one was way easier than the previous one, difficulty 4 was just a nightmare for me, and uh, difficulty 5 uh, way easier. I tried with Sharon Carter, I tried with uh, Nick Fury, and even with Nick Fury it was kinda sketchy. Okay, ultimate with Gamora. Goodbye to Coulson. Always get rid of Coulson because he's very dangerous. And uh, that's it. So, 
There we go, both uh, challenges, difficulty 4 and difficulty 5. I hope you find out this helpful. Once again, the ISO weight I have for the characters that are a little bit unusual. Striker on Gamora, on uh, Nick Fury I have Skirmisher, and on Mary Hill I have the uh, Healer. And that, that helped out with the sustain of the team, that helped out with the damage output, and also uh, removing positive effects from the enemies. So yeah guys, that's gonna be the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, stay tuned for the other challenges. There is a playlist on my, on my YouTube video, which is daily challenges. It has most of the old videos of the old challenges, but I will also put there the new ones, so go there and you'll find the four difficulty four and five. So that's all for now. If you found the video helpful, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content, and I will catch you guys later.